Welcome to the farm. Welcome to the farm. I'm Justin. Dana. And today, we're finally going to get to part two of improving the garden. So today we're going to work on getting some plastic laid down, building our three beds, and at least hopefully getting those three beds filled with topsoil today. We tried to work on this last weekend, but uh, it was a little hot. It was way too hot. Way, way too hot. Yep. We laid down plastic and it was only laying on the ground for less than 10 minutes. It was just minutes. And I went to go touch it and I was like, ah, it's hot. So I went up to the house, got our meat thermometer or kitchen thermometer, put on the plastic and I believe it said like 140 or 150 degrees. Yep. We'll put a clip in there so you can see it. It was, it was just too hot so we ended up rolling the plastic back up and calling it quits for the day. It's significantly cooler today. It's still sunny and hot but significantly cooler. Cool breeze. Yep, cool least, breeze and nice. last time it was what like 95 degrees in pure sun. Yeah. Today it's like 80 so it's a little cooler. But anyway let's uh, let's get the plastic out let's get started. Alright, so the plan here is to take the plastic and staple it to the bed here. To try to keep weeds from growing up next to the bed. And then I can just take my knife, cut the plastic right down, fold that right down into the walkway. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull this section of fence out of the garden here. So we can trim these weeds and we're actually going to extend the plastic out past the fence. When we lay gravel down, we're going to actually have gravel out past the fence to hopefully keep all the weeds from growing in the fence. We finally have the plastic laid out. Finally. We do. How long have we been trying to do this for now? <laughs> too long. <laughs> like Far a month? too long. Far too long. Yeah. Alright, well let's grab some wood and start building some beds. Nice. Yeah. So this represents three garden beds worth of lumber. I got it all pre-cut and ready to go so we should be able to just carry it over and put the things together.
three more beds. Yay! You excited? I am excited. Just working on top of that black plastic with the sun. Ugh, it's taking it out of me. <laughs> yeah, even with it being a cooler, cooler day today, working on that plastic, it's hot. But now, we get to do my favorite part. I get to play my tractor. <laughs> so I'm gonna roll this plastic back and then I'm um, gonna go up. We had topsoil delivered yesterday. Yep. So I'm gonna grab that and we're gonna dump it in the beds. We got uh, eight yards delivered. Looks amazing, so hopefully it'll be really good for the gardens. So maybe that'll be it for part two of garden improvement. I feel pretty accomplished today. I got three new garden beds. Yeah. Pretty exciting. So what do we have? What, 12 raised garden beds? Yeah. That are what size? Uh, most of them are five foot by 10 foot, and then four of them are five foot by seven foot. So yeah. It's pretty good, pretty good sized garden. I'm excited. Someday, right over this area here, we're gonna have a greenhouse. Excited. Yep. And uh, for you guys who've been commenting, I remembered to put my wraps up today. <laughs> um, all serious though, it, it is a serious safety thing. You should always have it up when you're running your tractor. I put mine down when I mow because I got to fit underneath trees and branches and stuff. And a lot of times I put the next implement on, I hop on the tractor and I go and I forget to put it up. So just make sure you guys do that. Do as I say, not as I do. Thanks for who's watching out for him and reminding him to put it up. I will do my best when I see it to remind him as well. So thank you. Yep. And if you guys enjoy the content, please give it a like. We'd really appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. We do work like this all the time. Stuff with the tractor, fixing up garden beds, taking care of the animals, fixing things around the farm, all kinds of stuff. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.